Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given an equation y equals ax squared plus bx. We're told that its tangent line at the point 1, 1 has, a, has the equation y is equal to 3x minus 2. So we're given two points of information here. One, if there's a tangent line at 1, 1, that means that the point 1, 1 is on the line. And two, if it has the equation y is equal to 3x minus 2, that means that the tangent line at this point is a value of 3. Since that's the slope of the tangent line, we can find that using the derivative, which we should do right now, just finding the general form of the derivative. Taking the derivative of this, you bring the coefficient out first, then you multiply it by the exponent, and then your new exponent, or power function, like ax squared is, is the old one, minus 1. In this case, it's just x to the first power, and in that situation, when you just have a term with x, the derivative is the coefficient. Okay, this simplified is 2a, x to the 2 minus 1 is x to the first power, which is just x, plus b. So, we know that when x is equal to 1, the value of the derivative, 2ax plus b, is equal to 3, since that's the slope of the tangent line. So 3 is equal to 2ax plus b when x is equal to 1, plugging in 1 for x. So we get that 2a plus b is equal to 3. Plugging in 1 for x and 1 for y into this equation will give us 1 is equal to, because 1 for y, a times 1 squared plus b times 1, which gives us 1 is equal to a plus b. Now we have two equations for two variables, so we can solve for the variables. So we get a plus b is equal to 1, just rewriting this equation right here. If we subtract them, then we can do elimination. So we get 2a minus a is a, plus b minus b is 0, so we don't even have to write that. That's equal to 3 minus 1 is 2. a is equal to 2, therefore 1 is equal to a plus b is equal to 2 plus b, subtracting by 2 on both sides. We get negative 1 is equal to 0 plus b, which is just b. So, we're looking to find the parabola with the equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx. We didn't know what a and b were, but now we do. So if we plug that in, we get y is equal to ax squared. It's going to be 2x squared plus bx is minus x. And that is going to be your final equation. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I will see you in the next video.